the charm. Don't make me do ten by your tongue for the Yo. So Lil Tay is back, uh, if you didn't know. Uh, she went live and uh, she exposed her dad and stuff and she also made a fucking music video. <laughs> so, yeah, doing all this, niggas thought she was dead. She came back from the fucking dead, bro. Um, yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna watch this. I literally, like, Brody. I really have no idea what to expect. Uh, but a lot of people don't like that she is, a uh, like, because they still think that she used her death. Like, she personally said that, you know, like, they're, she's using her death as, like, a way to amplify her, uh, career. And that's, like, the biggest fucking stunt in history, um, if she did. But no, apparently it was her dad, so. But people still, people still mad and shit. I'm just like, okay. Anyways, I right, wanna watch this. We're gonna watch the clips and see. Um, oh god, I, I I actually. Oh god. Okay. Um. <laughs> I can already tell she's fucking yelling. Let's see. What's going on, bitch? Lil Tay's back. It's. I thought maybe she changes the world just a little bit, but she didn't change at all. Nah, I'm playing. I mean, this is like her, her personality, or what her internet persona, so whatever. It's still... Goddamn. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. It's been five years and y'all still broke! The go is back! Five years, and I'm still the youngest one out. Five years, and y'all are still broke! So don't take it out on me! What the fuck are y'all coming at me for? Y'all hated bitch were hate on me when I was nine years old. Talking all this shit when you don't fucking know me. So stop fucking talking. You did not come up. You had five years to come up and you didn't. So don't blame me. Five years. That being said, let's just get into it because I have a lot of shit to say. The voice is still Yeah, it still sounds like her, bro. Oh my god. Oh man, cope. Oh. God, yeah, no, she's not gonna let this persona down, man. Y'all already know what the f Yeah, go yeah, yeah. As you know, there's a lot of shit that happened when I was famous. And a lot of that involved media and the press slandering the f out of my family, me and my mom. Slander. Number one. My mom was not fired. I can't, it's actually insane how- Well, she's talking about back in like 2018, okay. Fast that spread. No one did any fact checking. My mom was not fired, she resigned. And afterwards, the realtor company, the realty company that she was with, after they lied about it, they were still charging her- Okay. I mean, I guess people care about that. I don't really give a shit about that. The company that she was with, after they lied about it, they were still charging her desk fees after she resigned. Thousands of dollars, and she sued them. My mom sued the realty company, and she won. She resigned. Oh my god, I've waited so long to clear that up. My mom did not get fired, she resigned. Cool. Number two. There have been a ton of random people, frauds, who have claimed to be my manager. I have never had a manager. Frauds. All those people are con artists. They're exploiting my name for clout and for industry credit. And they... Okay, this is where it gets into the death hoax. So, as you all know, Chris... Ho yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, we should have really started with that at first, to be fair. Hope was... The that's, I think that's what most people are here for, like, they thought he was, she was fucking dead, like, holy shit. The one that did the death hoax, he was trying to sabotage me. Meanwhile, the company that she was with, after they lied about it, they were still charging her desk fees after she resigned, thousands of dollars, and she sued oh, them. Tough. My mom sued the realty company, and she won. 
she resigned. Oh, yeah, that's fucking replays. This is why I hate Instagram, man. He was working with this other con artist that was claiming to be my manager, and they had a crypto coin together. Their plan was to fake my death and then promote the crypto coin, which, by the way, the man... The ma Tired of this crypto coin bullshit, bro. No, I, I really am. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, the only thing that I somewhat would still get into... Yeah, I, I'm like a... I, I'm in the stock market. Right? Crypto. But um, the only thing I had, did was Doge. Like, Dogecoin, and that that's pretty much it. This fucking crypto shit with the celebs and shit, that shit is so annoying. Manager, the manager, admitted to. He said he'd been working on the crypto coin for months. These people are frauds. This proves how much the press did not give a f about facts. They cared about slandering my name. They did not do any fact checking. As long as you claim to be my manager, they would just take your word for it. As long as you, cl as long as anyone claimed that my mom got fired from her job just for controversy purposes, they would just report on it, even though it's not true. Well, that's just how, that's just how paparazzi is. I mean, you can't, that's just how the world is, even though it's not true. Yeah, that's part of being a fucking celebrity. I mean, it sucks. It, it's, it's, that's, it's fucking tough, but that's just how it's going to be. And now you're out in the public again. Now they're going to be lying on you and shit again. That's just how the internet is. It's just how paparazzi is. It's just how media is. You have to fucking deal with it. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that fucking sucks, though. It's just like... Yeah, at least she isn't British, because British media, they, they don't give a rat's ass. I mean, you thought it was bad here. Ah, oh, British, they don't fucking care, bro. I hope you realize how much bull has been surrounding my name from the moment I became famous till now. And I hope this cleared up for you. I guess she, I mean, yeah, that's fair she cleared it up. We kind of knew the, the little, like, you know. Well, I guess we're coming out because it's being like, quote unquote, supposed manager or something. Because I thought she said it was her dad, but now I guess it's the manager. She play piano? Get into it, bro. Holy. Was about to add little take to my muted words, Liz probably still will. <laughs> but those are some mad pianos. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Keeps getting worse. Yeah, like Fake Death came back and dropped the banger. She hasn't changed. She really hasn't changed, bro. The terrible flogger. Damn, bro. Like what? That's actually. I didn't even. Th I didn't even know about that part. That's new. That's new, bro. This doesn't change the fact that she faked her death and dropped the music video. She can't deflect when it said it was my dad, but if that's the case, then you need to go public. Why did he do that to get you more attention? Doesn't matter. Well, she said it was like a fake manager for like crypto or something. But it is interesting how she, uh, I'm still, we're still riding with her. You feel me? It's interesting how, like, right after the fucking death shit, she just comes back to the internet. I guess just to clear things up, but then she released the whole music video. I'm just like, oh. Oh. And I don't feel like her. Bro, what? Why are we still hearing how I blame the book? Yeah, girl, F you. It was funny when she was like five. Now I want to know who the fuck you're talking to. Uh. They, they they really don't care. That's tough. She ain't old enough for somebody who was dead six months ago. Actually, it was like two months ago. But, uh, she's still calling his bro fit again. Yeah, that was just... Bro, I was just like, oh my god, man. Like, I guess, you know, keep the persona, but goddamn, bro. She sounds the same, too, so this is the funny part. Uh... Perfect opportunity to rebrand, and she ruined it already. Yeah, I think yeah, I think she should have changed it up. Um, yeah, that would have been smarter, I think. 
she's still gonna make bread though she has like almost five million followers right now so five years and your parents still fail holy shit so she came back from the dead to call us all broke yeah a lot of people ain't fucking with it i guess maybe because now like she's able to do shit because of the court case i i, I think she won it or something maybe like the manager came out and like fucking faked that shit or like he was able to now fake that shit and take advantage of their account because of court case. i don't know i don't know how the courts work but whatever yeah i just find this all like very like very interesting uh situation but i mean we still rock it with her like you know Ulte stole my whole flow not gonna lie i'm alive he's gone neon's final work oh my I just watched the um like the live like the part of the live where she talks about her dad and bro her dad is a piece of shit like we already knew bro was like um uh, fucked up but bro he's weird like she um he he brought in like woman like random asian woman she, she said he had asian i i guessed it i i pretty much guessed he had an asian fetish so that's all like the picture of like what it was. i'm just like oh okay yeah he's one of those where he belongs on fucking um um, 90 Day Fiance type bullshit. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he was on there. Um, yeah, so he's a weirdo. Abuse. Um, he physically hit her and shit. And then even, like, the girl, what is it called? Honey Hope or something? Um, I guess she, I don't think she was stepmom. Maybe she was. I mean, Honey Hope. You know, that's... Her her real name is like Claire, so I guess it was like stepmom. But yeah, she also hit little Tay and shit and her little brother and like just like bro, like and they like traumatized her and shit, making her do shit she didn't want to do. I'm just like, bro, I didn't know it was like this bad. Like holy shit, that's fucked, man. I hope she wins. Oh, I think she did win the court case, but I hope she wins in life because holy, holy shit, man, damn, like fuck. She she didn't even get like proper meals and shit. Like she she showed like expired candy and like food and stuff. Her dad would like fucking get her for her school, um, and so her mom like her actual like biological mom, um, had to give her like food when she was at school and stuff. And then he owes like 250k in child support, which he's still obligated to pay. He still didn't pay. Uh, so yeah, there was that. He just really just, he really doesn't give a shit. On top of all the other stuff we know about, like him trying to fucking, uh, he was trying to gain custody of Lil Tay so he can take all her money and shit. That's what the whole court case was. That's why she couldn't say anything for like five years, like really say shit about it. Uh, so she wasn't allowed to. But yeah, but now she's back. I think she won the case. Um, so that's that. Uh, shit, I hope things get better for her. Because <laughs> goddamn, bro, that's tough. But I, I mean, I just wanted to, to fucking see what's up with what she's doing and shit now. Money, money. And fucking music videos and stuff. Yeah, people are just talking about her, and they didn't even, like, watch the live or anything, or, like, really, like, know, like, what's up. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty, it's pretty fucked, man. It's pretty fucked. Alright, that's it, though. Um, what do you guys think? Because a lot of people think this is, like, publicity, like, she's, uh, using this to, like, put herself up. And, I mean, yeah, sure, okay, you know, but, um understand the situation she's in bro like goddamn started a black man and took his shoes customized my ar like a black ops 2 just scammed a white kid out of some gorilla glue i don't want to fuck this bitch she smell like poo poo